from all around your lawn. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. Kick into the northern end of this final quarter. Ball thrown in. In front, Belpost will get the tap down to Hurst. On the left foot goes to the goal square. Kavka can't take the mark. He's got the two to one against him down there. Picked up there by... Oh, great tackle there by uh, Kavka. Fantastic tackle. And Lennon thinking he was uh, away and gone. And uh, Kavka, I don't know what he grabbed him with, but a fantastic tackle. And it's weren't the free kick 20 metres out. And could this be the first nail in the coffin for the Belpost Hill side against Thompson? They're five points in front. We've been going 22 minutes in this final quarter. And uh, Robbie Kavka has got the free kick. He'll be exhausted by the time he gets in the <laughs> kick and he's gone back 120 metres. So, uh, Rob Kavka. I don't know where he's going, but he's now coming in. Moves in. Very confident. Has kicked the ball goalwards and has kicked the goal. Great. I'm a fan of Lewis. Uh, there's also been the other defender for them. So ball's come down. Tar, uh, tar this time takes the ball out of the contest. Menzies cleans the ball up at centre-half back. Handball's a little bit hot. Baskin picks up for Bell Post Hill. Goes back by hand to Carter. Carter kicks into the hot spot again. McIlvaney in front. Matthews does well. He feeds the ball out, but it's only far as Robbie May goes round the corner and Hurst takes the mark just inside 50. Players question the distance, but uh, probably agree that it's probably just gone that required distance. So Hurst goes back. Has a chance now. Furzland runs from behind. Bev thinks he uh, wants to put himself in the paper this week. He's only got four <laughs> points. He won't kick two more to get a goal. So he's got to go back and put this one through now. He's taken responsibility. Crosses over 50. It's a kick towards the goal square. It's not going to make the distance. Maul and Zah. Uh, well, they did make the distance. It's gone through for another minor. So 12-15 for the Bell Post still side. 11-9 Thompson. 24 and a half minutes gone, final quarter. Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. So Dowie, the quick kick in, found Denham and centre half back. His handball over to uh, Towen. Towen has a run. Oh, he's run a long, long, long way. Oh, goodness me, umpire. I'll buy some land from you. As the ball at centre half forward, first and done well. Gets back to assist his defenders. Oh, lucky kick because he's found uh, his teammate there in Whitney. Just forward of the centre. He goes long inside forward 50. Kavka, can he use his strength? He does, but he can't hold the mark. Deniman, he's tackled. Handball to Dowie. Dowie chips it around and has found Matthews. Halfback flank. Matthews, handball over the top. A hospital handball to Harriet. Harriet gets out of the May tackle. Now goes forward toward the middle. But, oh, basically, desperation there on the face of the uh, Bell Post Hill player and has taken the mark. He's got May out wide. Decides to chip it short to uh, play a loose in the middle of the ground. That's Fursland. They're playing intelligent footy, Paul. Just holding the footy up. And <clears throat> Fursland now goes towards centre-half forward. Up there again with one hand was Moreland. Got to put two up, son. You might get a mark then. Ball picked up. Immediately tackles are laid. And uh, 25 metres out directly in front of the goal. Four bell post to the umpire will take the, uh, the football and put it in the air once again. Up goes the footy. McLaren does the tap down for Thompson. A little bit by basketball. Deniman to Menzies. It's stolen by Hurst. Hurst runs into the open goal and has got his first for the day. And that might be Kurt. We're back in the centre of the ground. McLaren up against Tar. Both Ruckman jump early. Both in the ground. The ball is knocked forward by Tar. Whitney, I think it is, or uh, Carter does well. Comes off centre wing. Knocks the ball forward. But Jerkovic gets back to help out in defence. Now he picks the ball up. He's tackled as he releases the ball. Gets it back towards centre wing. In front is the player in Scott against Tarr over the back Harriet he gets the body down but basically he wins it but Jerkovic does well gets the ball in his hand goes back feeds the ball forward now and it's coming towards Martin goes over his head Meharis now leads in the race for the ball has Mitchell running wide he tries to tap the ball up but good pressure there from Bell Post Hill Mitchell's able to win the ball Riley runs forward Meharis needs to get the ball up to him so players getting tired now Fursland gets back he gets out of the contest now Fursland's off and running kicks forward and Hurst again he's looking forward works well Takes a mark, a diving mark there in front of Matthews. Goes short and we'll find Whitney who's taken the mark. Again, still outside 50. So the next kick important. Goes wide. Justin Tarr by himself. Has time to pick the ball up. Good pressure from Jerkovic. Ball comes out. He's dropped the ball. Jerkovic wins possession. So strong man Jerkovic kicks the ball. Goes wide. 
Finds Jones, I think it is, on the far side of the ground. He plays on now. Swings back inside on the right foot. Goes long, and they'll need to go direct. Bab out in front, but uh, this time Popovsky does well. Bab does well at ground level, though. Goes in and gets it. Popovsky now is on his knees. Player has the ball, and it's not coming out. I don't think it's been forced up. Picked up there by Fantella. He releases the ball at favours. Bell post hill, and Popovsky kicks the ball off the ground and has gained valuable metres there, and it goes over the... For the siren, which is about a minute away. So the ball thrown in, centre wing, Thompson at the drop of the footy, Jerkovic can't pick the footy up, finally does, flicks it out, Hood, haven't sided him for two quarters, gets a handball to Jones, Jones now for Thompson, eludes a tackle, comes back into the corridor, finds Harriet, Harriet now, plays on quickly, the long kick inside 50, looking for and finding Nick Maharis, the mark is paid, and uh, 30 metres out, 45 degree angle, Nick Maharis has taken the mark for Thompson, and uh, the opportunity to narrow the gap. But too little, too late. 29 minutes gone, final quarter. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> may well almost be the last shot of the match because Maharis now about to line them up. Brad Martin on the mark. Nick Maharis, not a bad looking kick. He's hooked it to the left, unfortunately. And only now the short chip in has found Lima. Uh, so Lima now. For Valpost Hill, comes wide, looking for, and uh, well, uh, Deneman took the mark, I would have thought, but uh, it, was pay it wasn't paid, he played on quickly and has found Noel Riley, half forward flank, Riley now, goes towards the full forward position, Martin, not paid the mark, plays on quickly, into the middle, oh, Kazina up high, the mark not taken either. McLaren picks it up, goes to Mitchell. Mitchell looking for a handball. <coughs> Option goes to Riley. Riley now to full forward. Babs, just with strength, can't take the mark. However, Poposki does well. He's won a couple of those important uh, contests in the final quarter. There's the siren. It's all over as the mark was taken by Matthew Bott, who uh, we would consider... Christy, our best player, Matthew Bott, number 19 of Bell Post Hill. Uh, I'm joined here by Matty Bott. Matt, uh, congratulations. Uh, it was a tough game of footy out there in the second half. Just talk us through those last 30 minutes. Oh, it's hard work. Um, just try to give everything. Um, yeah, it was tough. It just, it, it, we, Maisie said to us three-quarter time, we just had to pull, dig deep, put the pressure on, and uh, forwards eventually try and kick some goals after probably kicking a few points and not kicking the right ones, and we should have, so it was good they finished off for us in the last quarter. Well, let's talk about the first half, because you couldn't turn a trick, really. They just you know, peppered the goals, and there was that many turnovers. So what did uh, what did Robbie have to say at half time that really made you guys come out and, and fire then in the second half? Oh, he just he believed in us, and I mean, we've been working hard off the track, and we just, he just knew that we kept the pressure on, that we are going to... We're going to come out with the goods in the end, so we just need to back ourselves and, and kick those goals. So that was good. Has there been a lot of emphasis on this match, given that Thompson were obviously, uh, you know, top top position on the ladder, and the fact that you've got got the buy next week, which means you, you can perhaps, you know, give that extra ten percent. Yeah, no, it was an eight point game for us. We uh, we dropped a couple of early ones, and sort of say first, first and second, third rounds when we we probably should have uh, won a couple of those. So we put ourselves under the pump, but we set ourselves for the next month, and we started off alright. So we should wait for the next three weeks and work our butt, butts off. Tell us a little bit about that because you've dropped two games so far this season if, if you don't count the uh, the draw against Blue West. But uh, Bannockburn, you, you lost that game by two points and then obviously Cry first game of the season, they stitch you up a little bit. But um, where do you sort of see see the side now sort of position having played all of those top sides around you now? How do you think you compare uh, to all of them, you know, given that obviously finals is uh, coming uh, coming quite soon around the corner? Yeah, I suppose we were always, we were, no, we've got a pretty good side. But we've got to, got to string it all together and that's probably what we didn't do early. Um, so we can work hard at working together and and then trying to uh, trying to get get some wins and I suppose it's eventually happened. We're just going to make sure we keep on doing it and keep on working hard because we, we, you don't win premierships in May. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, you look like you're a bit puffed and your teammates are, are going off the ground. So congratulations, well done. Thanks again. Thanks a lot.